Hey, how y'all doing? I hope you're blessed and um, I want you to know that God is walking with you and he's uh, speaking through me to you. Um, he gave me a message today um, from the book of Habakkuk. Um, and if you don't know about Habakkuk, Habakkuk was a prophet and um, God revealed to him in this scripture I'm about to share with you about a um, a vision of the Babylonians coming to terrorize Israel and to wreak havoc and to take over and just basically make their lives a living hell. So um, this scripture today is from Habakkuk chapter one, <clears throat> excuse me, chapter one, verses 12 through 17. It says, O Lord, my God, my Holy One, you who are eternal, surely you do not plan to wipe us out. O oh Lord, our rock, you have sent these Babylonians to correct us, to punish us for our many sins. But you are pure and cannot stand the sight of evil. Will you wink at their treachery? Should you be silent while the wicked swallow up people more righteous than they? Are we only fish to be caught and killed? Are we only sea creatures that have no leader? We must be strung up on their hooks and caught in their nets while they rejoice and celebrate. Then they will worship their nets and burn incense in front of them. These nets are the gods who have made us rich, they will claim. Will you let them get away with this forever? Will they succeed forever in the heartless conquest? So um, that's Habakkuk chapter 1 verses 12 through 17. Now, I want to tell you how this relates to the vision that God gave me. Um, the vision I had, I was at like, um, it was like a um, a big NBA event. And there were these four elite all-star players. Uh, it was Carmelo Anthony, Ray John Rondo, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Paul. And there was this man on the sideline who, um, you know, who was... In the middle of the game, he was trying to interrupt it and was demanding that he get on the microphone and talk to the sideline reporter. You know, the uh, reporter on the sideline that interviews the players. And he was very loud and obnoxious and was spewing all types of garbage from his mouth and negativity and wanted to make sure that the uh, players heard him. And um, it was like he was trying to bring attention to himself. And um, what happened is the players just kind of shook it off and ignored him and laughed because they, they weren't getting distracted. They weren't going to let them let him disrupt their focus. So my message to you today is do not let the the disruption, the bad, Babylonians in your life. You know, some people call them Decepticons, Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. Sometimes you don't even know these people, but they're just there to disrupt you and distract you from your goal. But just like the players in my vision, stay focused on the game. Keep your head in the game. Just laugh and shrug it off. Don't even give it any energy. You ultimately don't have to tolerate any disrespect, but don't even give it any energy because a lot of times these people just want attention and they're being used as uh, vessels of hate and confusion by the devil. And they don't even know it. They're not even aware of it. If they only knew the work that you were doing for the kingdom of God, they would be there to support you and help you. And the other part of my dream is team. There's a team around you of people around you that you're going to need to accomplish the things and the goal and the purpose that you have for the kingdom of God. So sometimes these people may be from different cultures or different backgrounds, but don't shrug them off because the person that's sending in your life to help you and elevate you and take you to the next level may not look anything or talk anything like you. So don't shut these people down just because they're different. But ultimately, my message to you is to, um, you know, don't be fearful, but just be aware that these attacks are coming from these haters, these uh, people with these serpentine spirits, these marine spirits in them. And they're just sly, they're slick, and they're coming, cunning, and um, they're full of hate, and they're just there to disrupt you. But don't get distracted. Keep your head on the game and focus on your goals. And um, allow your counsel, your team around you to influence you in a positive way. And just ignore all that negative energy. So y'all keep your head up, be blessed. 
um, God and his angels are walking with you. And um, I just declare and decree over your life that you'll be blessed and um, begin to walk in your path and your purpose and your calling. In the name of Jesus. Love y'all. Have a blessed day.